welcome in Namur for the 32nd edition of the Rally de Wallonie, the fourth round of the Belgian Rally Championship. And as ever, the Rally de Wallonie starts with a spectacular show stage on the citadel of Namur. Plenty of spectators wanting to assist to this rally spectacular. This is Dutchman Bex. First time here with his uh, Fiesta. And he wants to take everything under control. This is a very quick rally, not necessarily these stages, of course. But the R5s are a bit at a disadvantage here. Maybe to these GT cars, like the one of Patrick Snares. But certainly to the World Rally cars that are further on. This is uh, Cedric Charin, who missed the previous round due to budget problems. But starting from this uh, Rally de Wallonie, he wants to take advantage of the competitiveness of his uh, TS3. And Charin sets the fourth time in uh, these show stages. This is championship leader Chris Prinsen with co-driver Peter Kaspers. Prinsen won the opening round and this is the man who won the second and third round of the Belgian Rally Championship, Freddy Loix, who sets uh, twice the second time in the two opening show stages. And this is the leader, Peter Tune, not at the steering wheel, but as a co-driver with young French talent, Stéphane Lefebvre. Peter Tune decided he wanted a new challenge and he's taking the co-driver's seat for this one. The favorite active in the WRC2, the junior championship, and leading after day one with a small advantage over Loix, then Princeton, Charin, and Bush. Off to the first complete rally day, then 15 stages on the program, three loops of five stages, very quick stages in the Rally de Wallonie. Not really at the advantage of the uh, R5 cars like this uh, 208. It's still, Princeton goes very quickly on these. Good stages for Princeton, and he takes the lead of the rally. Freddy Loix trying to keep up still with the S2000 version of his Skoda Fabia, of course. Rechts 100, zeer lang, sluit 90, diep kopieren. Om de recht links 80. Om WV70, rechts af van top. 100, top, direct links 60, open 70, breed. 150, links 152 af vol. Loix trying to keep up with his main rival in the Belgian Rally Championship, Chris Prinsen. He is a Frenchman Le Favre with Peter Tune next to him. Freddy Loix attacking hard, and sometimes just a bit too hard. Chris Prinsen still leading the rally. But it's a very tight fight with uh, Lefebvre and Chun. And Chun really feeling at ease in the co-driver's seat. Last year I, I had sometimes a thought that I wanted to stop. I, I don't think I can... Uh, I'm able to, to fight with these guys. And maybe it's maybe it's my ace, but uh, and after, after Spa I've decided that... Uh, I, I, I still want to win and to fight, but I um, wasn't capable to do that myself at the steering wheel. Is that, definitive? Is that a definitive choice? Will you never drive again? No, no, I will drive sometimes, but just for, just for fun. But as I can see how aggressive these guys uh, do and how they treat these cars, but maybe that's the way to do it. Um, I still have um, 15 years of World Rally car behind me, so I'm... Uh, I don't think I can really um, close the chapter. But I think it was a good idea to be a co-driver with a new young talent. And it goes very well indeed. For Bex, on the other hand, he has some small problems and so has Patrick Snyers. 
Yesterday, time, uh, twice in the last two stages now, we had a problem with, with the engine, who isn't that the full power. It's like it's turning at five cylinders. Maybe it's, it's a bad contact, I don't know. So we have time to, to look for it now and, and, th and hope we, we can solve it. I don't really want to ask you, but how's the gearbox? The gearbox is, uh, yeah, the gearbox is very good now, uh, the, no problems at all. We brand new gearbox in the car now. I've, um, I've, I've did it myself, so um, I, I think it should be good. Another Porsche at the start from uh, Timothy Van Perez. Still fighting with the uh, snares, only seven seconds between them after the first loop. And Loix was among the front runners until this happened. Freddy Loix thinks his car is completely destroyed. Still, he wants to continue. Being careful not to get stuck in this field. But he can continue. And he drops to seven though, but he's still only 45 seconds behind. Yeah, it was a, it was a pretty hot moment there. We had a puncture this morning and tried to uh, make up time. But in the last stage on the, on, on the gravel, uh, the, the car jumped. And yeah, we, we went off. I think we, we uh, it was it was a good result for us that we could continue. Yeah, how should we continue now? I think we could attack as well, but uh, we have to be more careful at the dangerous points. Vincent Verschuren has a new co-driver and is in fifth for the moment, in sixth I should say, and his co-driver is none less than Stefan Prevo. How do you arrive at Stefan Prevo? Well, Veronique was unable to make it uh, this weekend. And I've, I've driven with uh, Stefan in the past, so and, uh, I'm very happy about him. He's a very professional guy. Happy, very happy. Cédric Chirin making up ground, even though his uh, bonnet here is a bit loose. It won't open completely, though, so he's uh, able to continue. He's in fourth now, 22 seconds behind the leader. The favorite. Still in it with a chance. He's in second position behind this man. Chris Princeton, leader after the first loop of five stages. Chris Princeton even having the time to adapt his notes for the second loop. It will be the same stages, of course. Second loop of five stages then, and bad luck again for Patrick Snyder's technical problems with his Porsche. And it's the fourth retirement in four rallies. Retirement for Peter Tune and Stefan Lefebvre as well. What is there gebeurd? Peter, what happened? At well, the first uh, stage of the second loop, we started, and I think 500 meters after that, the uh, the diff uh, broke. We ended the, the stage, but we had four to go, so it was uh, no use. And bad luck for leader Chris Princeton as well. On the um, stage of Warte, at the end of the gravel section, I, I turned a bit too quickly and I hit one of the uh, concrete blocks uh, at the end uh, in the corner. You, you can see the first block, but the second was uh, a bit hidden and I, I m misjudged uh, that corner and, and I uh, hit the concrete block and the suspension uh, broke and the steering as well. Tim Van Perez now first of the GT cars and sixth overall as well. And he's just behind uh, Vincent Verschuren, getting used to the English bass notes of uh, Stefan Trevo. And right 20 are for 50, left zero, closer 30, sleepy. And the left hand are for gravel 100, uh, right 15. That's when you get when you get a Flemish-speaking Belgian and a French-speaking Belgian in the same car. Freddy Loix making up ground. Gaining five seconds. It's helped, of course, that Chris Princeton is out of the rally. 
That's his main competitor for the Belgian title. Om 100. Om 100. Rex 63. Diep kopieren. Rex 63. Diep kopieren. Om links en smal links 23. Het was een groot attack. Ja, maar het acted very hard in this loop. Op dat moment had ik geen echt echt andere keuze. But I didn't have any other choice to to stay with the with the top R fives. I had to take some risks. Iets minder snel rijden. So I'm going to slow down a bit now, just a bit less risks, but I'm trying to uh, move a bit further towards the overall uh, top of the rankings. Cedric Chiran now in third, just three seconds in front of uh, Loix. Yeah, it's a, it's a good surprise. The start of the rally wasn't wasn't easy for us. We did have uh, didn't have the best of setups, but for the moment I'm very happy. This is uh, Xavier Bush with his Ford Fiesta WRC with the highest top speed of the World Rally Cars. This is a good rally for them. And Benoit Lahr is leading with the WRC version of the Fabia. A bit of a surprise, maybe. With the Lahr feeling at ease on these uh, quick roads. Nothing much changes in the last loop of uh, five stages. Alar still leads. And he ends that uh, first full day with a lead of 32 seconds on this uh, Xavier Bush. Freddy Loix has managed to gain a position. He's now first of the uh, non turbo cars. 300, top 25, rechts 100, diep kopieren over top, opent. Rechts 100, diep kopieren over top, opent. Om 150, links 120, min kopieren, opent dan. Chirin now in fourth and only 3.7 seconds behind uh, Freddy Loix, so that could be very exciting on that final day on the last 10 stages of the rally. Vincent Verschuren, a very steady rally in fifth overall, 1 minute 30 behind the leader. Plus, keep right. 150, left 28 plus. And they've been right 60 short. 100. Left 15 a 4. 80. And Tim van Perez still leading in the GT category. And in sixth overall as well. So these are the standings at the end of uh, the first full day with Alar leading from Bush, Loix in third, Gerard in fourth, and Verschuren in fifth. And that was the end of part one. See you after the break. Welcome back to the Rally de Wallonie, the fourth round of the Belgian Rally Championship. Final day, 10 more stages, two loops of five stages on the program. This is Jordan Sederidis with the R5 version of the DS3. And he's in the eighth overall. Tim Van Perez had a good first part of the rally, but then it went to been wrong. Hard hit for Van Perez. That means that Jean-Pierre van der Wauer is now the first of the GT cars and he's in seventh overall. Vincent Verschuren continuing on his very steady pace with co-driver Stefan Prevot. Now in fifth overall. Right. Left 25 plus, short, 50, T left 30, 150, keep right to chicane plus. Vincent Verschuren, the uh, position seems to be fixed now. Yeah, just to be, uh, be smart now, control the rally and try to as take as many points as possible. The other five drivers want rain. Uh, what's your case? Yeah, I, I gambled uh, for rain for the for this loop, but uh, it, was, it was a wrong choice. So we lost a lot of time. But I um, don't want to do any crazy things now. So it's good for the moment. We'll see what happens for the next five stages. Cedric Chirin still fighting hard. It was a about two second gap at the start of the day. 
and now it's 1.7 between him and Freddy Loix. We hoped for rain, but uh, it, um, it wasn't very, very hard enough to rain. So now we try to come back to the first two. With two three seconds behind to Freddy. I think we had two now. It was very tight, yeah, in this, in this loop. It was a good uh, tight choice for the first stages, and he had a good choice for the latter stages. So, so we, we have to be careful because uh, it was very uh, tight at the last stages. So was very close. Freddy hopes for rain. What's your case? Yes, please, uh, because um, if we want to get to the front, uh, we have to have rain. We were going flat out everywhere and we don't get back to the WRCs. They're very quickly uh, at the, uh, the um, fast part and we are with, uh, penalized with that with the F5 guys. As is this S2000 Skoda, Freddy Loix still in third overall. Loic now 58 seconds behind the leader, but he still hopes for rain and he wants to make up that gap in those last five stages. And it is overcast. Five more stages. What do you think is possible? If it stays dry, nothing. If it, um, if I can keep hold on to the to the third place, that's good for the championship. But if it would start to rain hard, then everything is possible. Yeah, you think? Yeah, really, I'm sure. Then you're going to uh, go for the first place? Well, I'll see what happens in the in the first stage, and uh, if I'm at the finish in the rain, then I can see what I can do. Xavier Busch is in uh, second position for the moment, and he's uh, 40 seconds behind this man. Benoit Lahr might be heading for his uh, first big win in the Belgian Rally Championship, with still five stages to go, and the clouds overhead are really dark. Spectators making up for uh, the final stages. This is uh, Jens Maas in his Opel Ascona. Taking second in the historic rally with Christophe de Mortier winning it. And in the R1, Jelle Vermeer drives a fantastic rally. After the retirement of uh, Doelef, he really dominated the category. Scored a lot of points in the junior championship as well. A really good rally for Vermeer, but the win in the junior championship went to Paul Geusens again. Even though he had a small off hit the wall of a house, but he was able conti to continue thanks to the hard work of his team. So a great result once again for uh, Polo Gersens. Jordan Sederidis with the, the, the S3, I should say, finishing in 10th. And as you can see, it started to rain very hard for that final loop. And that opened up some perspectives for the leaders. Fernandez in his uh, 207 Super 2000 finishes in eighth. But he too had some uh, offs, as you can see, some damage to the left there of the car. Jean Pierre van der Wauer, first of the Porsches, after the retirements of uh, Snares and Van Perez, he finishes in seventh. Always great to see Jean Pierre van der Wauer, a former Belgian champion, champion remember. At the wheel of a powerful car. Vincent Verschuren took it easy, controlled the rally until the end, and took uh, fifth place, even though it was raining really hard. And then the fight for the win. Due to the hard rain, the top speed of the World Rally cars was completely erased and Benoit Lahr, still leading at the start of the final loop, dropped to fourth in the end. He finished up 15 seconds behind the winner and Xavier Busch as well. He dropped to third, so no win for the World Rally cars here in the Rally de Wallonie. And there was a fight then between Cedric Chorin and Freddy Loix. And at the end of that final stage, the start of the final stage it was Chirin still leading. But Loix had a bit of a 
great time at that uh, final stage and he took the lead away from uh, Charin. Scoring full points then, Freddy Loix, it seemed, at the end of that last stage. After that off on the opening day, that was a very good result. But then, consternation at the end of the rally. Cars were getting in late. And Freddy Loix took a penalty. Is he two minutes too late? Yeah, I think he is. I, I'm, I'm right on time. I think you're too late. Co-driver Andre Day looking Cédric puzzled. Cedric Chirin, you, you're still winning then. I, I don't know. Is it too late? Is that... That is his time then. I think I win. I, I don't want to win like this, but I, I think I did. I, I don't understand. Freddy. Freddy. No, no, it's not. Freddy, what happened? Well, there was a, a, a small misunderstanding at the, the last uh, road car and getting into the park and just we're just getting in too late. That's that's dramatic. Well, no, it's dramatic. Uh, I think it was a, a bonus day uh, today. It's, uh, finishing second is, is good. And seeing the circumstances of yesterday, okay, winning would have been better. Freddy always congratulating Cedric Charin, who's still quite puzzled with that first win, as is co-driver Andre Lay. But it is Cedric Charin who takes the win in the Rally de Wallonie in the end. His first big win, and it was a strange one, to say the least. Final results then, Charin winning it from Loix, Bush in third, Alar in fourth, and Vincent Verschuren in fifth. These are the standings in the championship now with the retirement of Prince and Loix as the new leader. Chiran is up to third, delay in fourth, and double F in fifth. So Cedric Chiran is the first car onto the podium. Celebrations for the DS3 duo. And he's completely convinced now that he has won. Once you've sprayed the champagne, nobody can take it away. And the junior award in the Rally de Wallonie went to Jelle Vermeer. Jelle Vermeer, gefeliciteerd. Jelle Vermeer, congratulations. Uh, the win in the R1 class, but it was a tough, tough rally. Yes, it was very tough, it is especially for the car and for us as well. Uh, we, we, we had a lot of fun and we had some good results. It was important for you to take the 27 bonus points for the stage wins. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I, I take all 27, but uh, we take some uh, some good points here. I think we had some uh, best times here, so I think we took a lot of points. And now you have a uh, an entry for the for the next round, the Sezun's Rally. What does that mean to you? Yeah, I'm I'm, uh, I'm quite honored to to get this. Yes, I'm I'm happy about that. That was it from the Wallonie. See you next time.